Piperino vice. What is the meaning of the Piperino vice? It is the distribution of the Piperino set. And two, sometimes if you have a clock and part of the clock that closes the site of the injury, that is the clock that forms inside the vessel wall. And what going? If we look to this clock, it's going to occlude part of the vessel. It's going to obstruct the blood flow. So what we need, we are going to line this part of the clock. How can we remove this part of the clock or remove this undesirable clock? We have the protein which is called plasminogen, which is called the plasminogen. Plasminogen is inactive and it needs to be activated into the active enzyme plasmin. Plasmin has the capacity to produce lysis of the fibrin thread. When it lies the fibrin thread, it's going to remove the undesirable clot, producing fibrinolysis. But to convert plasminogen into plasmin, you need a factor called the tissue plasminogen activator, called tissue plasminogen activator. This tissue plasminogen activator is released from the endothelium, is released from the endothelium. This tissue plasminogen activator activates the conversion of plasminogen into plasmin, and the plasmin is going to produce lysis of the undesirable part of the clot. Also, thrombin has the capacity to activate the conversion of plasminogen into plasmin, and also the activated factor 12 has the capacity to activate the conversion of plasmin into plasmin. Nowadays, tissue plasminogen activator is used in patients with ischemic heart disease or coronary artery occlusion. We inject him with tissue plasminogen activator to help in lysis of the clot.